when you're creating a ton of designs and you have to like come up with new color palettes on the fly. It could be really hard sometimes and some people really struggle with color palettes and how to quickly or efficiently implement them in the design. So in this video, we're going to take a look at some of the resources that would make your life easier as a designer. So without any further ado, let's have a look at the tools. The first one, uh, which we are going to take a look at in this video is called coloredinspo.com. So basically this is the URL and this website is like really cool and I use it for like, I've been using it for like a really long time. And before I begin, I would like to let you know that this um, official plugin of this website, which is Color Dispo, is also available for Adobe SD. So you can go ahead and click to download it and you can use all the colored panels without any problem. So on the home page, when you just first launch it, you will see the latest color palettes. And there are a ton of colored palettes, so one after another, and you can also go ahead and view more best palettes if you are into it. And you can just keep on clicking and it will keep generating more colored bands for you. So let's just see if you do like uh, one of the colors or one of the colored palettes, uh, there's an option to copy it. So if you just um, click on it, it will say pretty good choice or something like that. And the color will be copied to your uh, clipboard. So as you can see, the hex for that particular color um, was copied on this um, in my clipboard. And I could just choose it in any of the design programs, no problem. And we can keep on generating multiple color palettes. And if you like anything, you can just click on now. Uh, you can just click on it and boom, you got the hex code, no problem. Uh, again, we do have the color tools for here. and. For some reason, I think this website is a little bit broken with the images and some of the images are not loading properly, but for the color wheel, color search and other, other color system, we're going to see another um, tool. So I will just skip over it. And this website also provides you with gradients and same as the uh, colors, color palette, you can just go ahead and tap on it and it will just copy all the necessary information. As you can see, this is the linear gradient and all the RGB value of it. Uh, is this copied right here and you can just use it in any of your design program and no problem you can just uh, use any of these gradients so you can see there are a ton of options and if you want you can just click on view more beautiful gradients and it will present you with more options to go with and another cool feature of this website is brand colors where you can just go ahead and take a look at various brands and what colors they use so for example what colors do adobe use so adobe uses these colors mainly and if you want to just copy it again just Tap on it and the hex is yours. So Airbnb, Alibaba, Alphabet, American Red Cross, Amazon, along with AOL, Art Cleanets, or anything. You can just um, keep on clicking and having more brand colors. And based on that, you can create whatever you want. Um, again, with the color panels, we do have these um, solid colors option here, right here. And you can just go ahead and keep generating more and more and more and more and it will just give you more. So also we do have the daily reads right here. And again, if you want, you can just um, read. Um, I think something is wrong with this website because uh, first of all, the images are not loading properly, but uh, we are mostly concerned with these tools and these are working flawlessly. So I will just glance over it. You can also get inspiration. And if you want, you can also browse using the hashtag Gundam Installer. And people have uploaded like multiple posts regarding colors, like how to choose colors part three or something like that. And you could just go ahead and have a look on it. And this was the first website. And now let's head over to the second website, which is called colorhunt.co. So the spelling is C-O-L-O-R-H-U-N-D.co. And this is at this kind of similar to the first website where you get a ton of color galleries and uh, it also has the option to choose a different setting but it also has the option to choose different setting so if you want you can just go ahead and select nature and it will show you nature glitch color palettes if you want you can just select cold and it will give you cold glitch color palettes and you can also go ahead and generate random color palettes. You can also see popular color palettes of the month, of the year, of all time, and also new color palettes. So uh, same as the first website, you can just go ahead and click on it. And it will just give you 
the access right here and you can just copy paste no problem you can also download it as an image or link to it you also get the rgb value right here if you just click on it it will it's going to copy it and you can also see uh, more related color palettes so the third one uh, which is from adobe itself it's called color.adobe.com so this is the website and let's take a look at it so the first one is your um color so you can if you want you can create um analogous color scheme and uh, you can just choose any of the points right here and based on that it will create a um, color palette for you so you can also choose different color harmony uh, harmony groups so for example you can select split complementary and it will just give you split complementary um, colors and also you can just go ahead and use uh, let's just say monochromatic and it will just give you monochromatic color uh, color palettes uh, which you can use in your design without any cropping um again uh, if you are the if you have the creative cloud subscription you can just simply sync it to your cc library and use it in all your applications so this is quite important but the main reason why i use it um, is because of these these two so for example let us go ahead and extract theme from any image so let's just say if you uh, saw a poster or something or you do have this sort of something and if you want to uh, take all the color bands from that image you can just then drop it right here and it will tell you all the colors used in that particular image you can also go ahead and extract gradient from there and this one at uh, the accessibility tool is like really important like this is one of my favorite tools um of this um colors.adobe.com it lets you check for contrast ratio so let's just say if i'm working on a project and i have two colors so let's just say this red one and to let's just say something like this yellow one so as you can see uh this is not looking uh, great because it's not uh, the contrast ratio is 3.33 to 1 which uh, as you can see uh is flagged by adobe that it is uh it don't have the contrast ratio which is needed for the design so if you want you can just play with the colors and say yes i think the red and black will make a good combination or let's just say black and white so as you can see the contrast ratio is 21 is to 1 and it will also give you a check mark that yes uh this have the correct contrast ratio and you can use it in your design so let's just say next time i'm working with something and i want to see if this color and color white have enough contrast ratio then it will just give you this little check mark and say yes uh you are um you can just use it in your design no problem and it's like a really um, good practice to check for the contrast ratio beforehand. Otherwise, like if you are uh, working with a design and you make a full design system without checking the contrast ratio, it might prove uh, prove to be a pro problem in future. So it also has the uh, color blind save. So if you're making a website uh, aimed toward uh, people with color blindness, you can just go ahead and check if these colors are uh, color blind safe or not. So let's just say if I go ahead and uh, use this one so still no conflicts but i'm going to take uh, okay so as you can see now these two uh being at are in conflict move the source and color wheel to make color distinct and color blind safe so i will just go ahead and move it again and i'll see yes this palette don't have any um uh, conflicts in them and they are color blind and safe so i can go ahead and use it no problem now the next one uh or the last tool in this video which i'm going to talk about is called kudos c nlrs.co and this is also a very um easy to use and fun tool so for example uh, we do have the option of exploring trending palettes so just like colors expo and this color hand.co uh, we do have multiple you know color palettes and i gave the same thing you can just go ahead and tap on it and it will copy the hex for you no problem but uh, one thing um which makes it unique is the ability to generate the color on the fly so and in a fun way to say the least because uh, you do have the five colors and if you press the space bar it is going to generate a color palette each time you press the space bar so let's just say um i randomly came across this and i kind of like this color so i'm just going to lock it using the lock button right here and once you lock it it's going to change um other colors but it will keep this color so next time let's just say i like this one and, and now i like this one and i'm just going to change these two in between so this way uh, like it is really easy for me to you know uh, 
generate multiple color pen based on what I'm working on. And same as the Adobe uh, uh, feature where you can just um, create a pattern from the photo. It's also available here. You can also check for color blindness test or how people with, uh, for example, Proton Nopia will, uh, you know, perceive these colors and how people with different, you know, color blindness will uh, perceive this color. So you can just make it as you wish or like you can make um, color blind friendly pad it and you can use it in your design so once you're happy with it you can just go in and export it and you get the option to export it in url you can share it directly you can create a pdf you can create an image you can get the css you get the svg you can get the code or you can embed it on facebook twitter pinterest no problem so these were the four tools that you should be using while selecting uh, new colors and i think this will help you uh, a lot when creating your next design. If you do like this video, be sure to leave a like and also subscribe to the channel. And this is going to be um, a little series where I'm going to talk about different gradients, uh, how, how we can find gradients and other assets like, you know, uh, basically assets for graphic design and where you can find all of them for free without any problem. So be sure to leave a like and also subscribe to the channel so you won't miss those videos. And as always, thanks for watching. Beats.